Hello, thanks for watching again. Um, you know what, the comments box, it runneth over and it's really lovely to see all your questions. So uh, we decided to make a compendium of the most frequently asked questions and I thought I'd give you some A's to those Q's. Uh, so I'm gonna dive in right now. Fizzy Pop wants to know, where do you think fashion is heading? Hell. Virginia Mello, how many jeans do you own? One black pair, one blue pair, and another blue pair that I actually wear, probably three. Suze Wainwright, what's your favorite animal landscape or cloud? I remember being in geography class and skipping learning what, which clouds were which, but a uh, favorite animal is a wild boar, because you shouldn't be one. Boyana, what was your favorite clothing item when you were a teenager? Um, I loved tartan trousers. <laughs> I loved tartan trousers. Uh, I also had a pair of orange hipster flares from Pilot, which is a pretty cool 90s shop that I loved. What's the most embarrassing moment you've had in fashion so far? One time in LA, I got invited to this really fancy dinner by Anna Wintour, and uh, it was to be at someone's house and it was only for like 20 people and I asked if I could bring a guest and they were like no so I went to this party this dinner party and had to arrive alone sure enough I walked in and everyone was already there and they were in couples and it was really really famous scary people um, and the only people I could think to go over to was uh, David and Victoria Beckham because English and I went over and said, I know you've got a lot of money, but I'll pay you anything to talk to me right now. And uh, they did, they were really nice. They did charge me afterwards, but no, they didn't. <laughs> What's a smell that brings back good memories? Um, I would say, this really reveals a lot, saddle soap. What? <laughs> it's quite a specific one. Um, I like the smell of tack. I like the smell of tack. I used to really like horse riding, so when I smell leather, it reminds me of saddles, and that reminds me of horses, and that reminds me of being really happy in Hampshire. Um, favorite film is, a, it's a split between um, Die Hard, all of them, but not four, and uh, the Bourne movies. And usually when I say I really like Bourne, people think I'm saying porn, the porn movies, but my favorite movies are Bourne Ultimatum, yeah, Matt Damon, I really like. I think he's great in that. Um, tell me a guy that you would exchange wardrobes with. Well, obviously, George Harrison, obviously, Mick Jagger, then, not now, although his trainers look pretty cool. Uh, probably David Hockney. He's, he's got great style. Okay. Oh, party trick. What's your, what's your best party trick? I, I am mediocre at a lot of things and I don't excel at anything. So I can play the piano quite, I'm not very good at playing the piano, but I would, I play it. Party trick, making whiskey disappear. I'm really good at that. If you could meet and befriend any movie character, who would it be? Jason Bourne. Any dog name ideas? Quite like dogs with human names, like Kate or um, Daniel. If you had a band, what music would you play? And what would your name be? And what would you wear on stage? I genuinely think it's a missed opportunity that I'm not in a band. <laughs> I guess I spend my life pretending that I am. But I think I would like to play drums. I think of band names all the time. I don't know where my phone is, but I write them down. Uh, cardboard Keyboard was one of them. It's really stupid. And um, I'd wear... I would wear, I'd probably wear loads of suits, I think. But actually, I think I'm the lead singer. I think this is it, really. I think I just want to be a lead singer. One time I went to see Fleetwood Mac with my friends, <clears throat> and it was in Brooklyn, in New York, at some big stadium that I now forget the name of. Anyway, and I, we were doing these stupid Instagram story videos because we thought it was funny to pretend that the location we were about to go on actually and not Fleetwood Mac and that the crowd was there for us and yada yada 
And we got so involved in filming it that we, A, missed the beginning of the Fleetwood Mac gig, which I'd wanted to see for like 10 years, and B, apparently, at some point, Stevie Nicks had come into the room we were all in before that to say hi, and we missed meeting Stevie Nicks because we were just pretending to be in a stupid band. So, that's that. Um, have you ever met a celebrity crush? And were you disappointed by them? Uh, yes, no, I mean, I have. Not disappointed by them, they were disappointed by me. I, I met and freaked out about Bruce Willis um, at a party in New York and I saw him and I was genuinely so starstruck I, and my friend said, Alexa loves you, can you have a photo with her, yada yada. So I kind of embarrassed myself there. Then I went to sit down for the dinner and he was seated opposite me and it was just incredibly awkward for the entire dinner because I'd already said how much I loved him, like how Don McLean was like my favourite character, all this stuff, and then we just had a really silent, quite awkward dinner. Another time, I met Leonardo DiCaprio, who I'd fancied since I was a kid, and I actually wore the tape of Romeo and Juliet out because I was just watching the kiss over and over and over and over again. And uh, he thought I was the waitress. So I got him drinks and pretended to be the waitress. This is the only interaction I could have had with him. Um, who's the person you look up to in fashion? I most look up to Mrs. Prada because A, she's excellent, B, she makes fantastic clothes, but here's the main thing. She must be in her, like, I don't want to gauge it, but she's an older lady, and yet, out of her office, she has a slide. She has a slide to get out of her office. So every day, I don't know what time she clocks off, let's just say six, while everyone else is using boring pedestrian doors, Mrs. Prada is sliding out of her office. That is a goal. That's great. Lydia Jacobs, what is the worst fashion faux pas you've ever witnessed at an airport? This isn't a fashion faux pas, but I did see someone on a plane be sick on someone else. <laughs> a stranger. As we were taking off, they puked on the person next to them and it was just horrific. Who's your favorite artist of all time? I went to see that Hilma Af Klint exhibition at the Guggenheim and I thought that was just incredible. So at the moment it's her, uh, but I'm more changeable than the wind. So it'll probably be someone else. Rosie, favorite fashion decade? Um, I'd say like now is quite good, isn't it? because then you can take elements from all the other decades and mishmash them together. Do you remember when high-low was like crazy? And everyone was like, whoa. It's a Celine blazer with vintage jeans and Topshop shoes. And that's just blowing my mind. What were people doing before that? Just doing like head to toe one on one on one? I have no idea. Um, Joplin, babe. Favorite perfumes? Uh, I like things that smell like rose or I like things that smell like cigars and tobacco and boy things like libraries. Do you own an Alexa? This literally is the most frequently asked question in my life currently. I don't own an Alexa, so therefore it's not awkward. I, and because I don't have one in my life, I rarely think about that, but I'm forced to think about it because every day of my life at this point, it was like, is that really weird with the Alexa machine? And I just, deal with it in different ways. Usually the stock answer is this. Do you know what, enough of my A's. I think I'm gonna give you some cues because there's stuff that's on my mind that I haven't had a chance to research and I'm a busy gal. So sometimes in bed at night, which is not what you're meant to do, I Google stuff to figure it out. But seeing as you're here, um, I've got some cues for you. Um, can you sleep in your contact lenses and survive? I don't know. Fully, how long do you boil an egg for, for it to be just like medium, just nice and a little bit runny, but not too much? I don't want the white bit to be runny, I just want a little bit of stickiness in the middle. <laughs> do you think they've got all of the dinosaurs now, or are there gonna be some more popping up? Because they've got a wide array, but I feel like there's more of those guys knocking around. Where are we all gonna live when it gets really crazy? Like, because they say New Zealand's good. <laughs> but surely we can't all fit there. So that's something to think about. What's with the like, you're pregnant actually for 10 months thing? 
Have you heard that? I think you're pregnant for 10 months, not nine months, and they lie about it. There you go, those are all my A's and a couple of bonus Q's for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching. If you could research those cues for me and pop them in the comments box, that'd be fantastic. Um, and like this, subscribe to it, ring the bell, and don't stay on the internet too long, kids. It's not good for you. Arrivederci. <laughs>